and she does Luis Noguera Serrano, president of the European Web Society. And we are here in Valencia, Spain, at Homo Dojo. And today I would like to, to show you some classical studies, in this case, uh, concerning the Magoyari, uh, this kind of uh, spear that uh, it's a very classical weapon from the weaponry of the season and mainly also the Japanese arts, classical martial arts or military systems. Then uh, today uh, I will show you a especially classical study uh, developed by the protectors, by the uh, defenders of important persons or important personalities of the Japanese tradition and they used to employ these uh, defenders, these, these protectors, uh, this weapon as a way to restrain, a way to control when some of the people attending a meeting could be uh, risky or dangerous to the, to the personality. Then in this case, uh, this study is called a Yari, uh, yari, yari Gimei. This Yari Gimei means uh, Yari come, that comes from the spear and Jime that comes from the verb Simeru that means to lock. It's locking with the Yari. Then in this case we will cover three uh, heights uh, of, the, of the place that we will lock and it will be the following. We will uh, work on the legs work on the trunk or walk on the on the neck or the head area for the first uh, performance i will ask in this case sensei rebecca roca please uh, put yourself on seiza and facing uh, the other side i will be going by, the, by your back backwards in this case uh, she will uh, remain on the ground and uh, if I feel of, or I am advised that notice that uh, in this case Sensei Rebecca Roca is a betrayer or a risky person to restrain I will do the following thing first of all I will go forward with the with the with the yari restraining this one sorry one more time please come here and from here, I will move, take the other hand, and from here, restrain on this point. From this, we will control in uh, the left elbow and the right elbow stepping on. And we will have a full control on the enemy. Take a look that she is standing on, on with, the, with, the, with the legs bended completely, and it's and capable to, to react in this situation. Then I will help to out of this situation. This is one of the of the of the forms. We could cover other uh, other approaches, like for example, going to the right arm here and controlling here the elbow. From here, I will pass the tip because I have restrained yet this this arm and what I will do is to go to the other. On this case we could go here, move that work and having this control I could step on and we have the control here. If we have to maybe kill and the enemy we, I could draw a tanto and stop on the next step on dangerous areas of the body of the enemy. This Techniques were employed when the opponent is on Seiza position, but we could cover other kind of positions. For example, if the enemy is on standing up on Tachi from here, please leave the, the okay the Boku Dong on the ground. Why? Because I will ask in order to not don't harm uh, Rebecca San to protect. The, the neck, when I will be trying to restrain the neck on this, she is keeping her safe. But the idea in, on the origin is it will be taking completely the neck and restraining both arms. But in this case, she will stop here as a way to be safety 
on the performance here. The following movement, this will move, will bend, and will have this control. This control, sorry, please relax. And from here, having this. Of course, this could be very violent, making uh, this uh, pressure go to the ground, making a pulling very violent, and having this control here, and it's very, very painful here. Of course, we will step on having this strong control on the enemy. If we take a look, we could go also to the legs. How I could, uh, with the tip, I could go forward between uh, uh, her legs, and from here, I could restrain one of them, pull in in order to make her fall to the ground, and, sorry, I will take out the hagama here in order to see what it will happen. From here, this will be restrained here. I will step here, but it's very, very painful. And from here, having this control on the leg. Here, she's unavailable, she's unable to escape because this position is very painful, of course. I could also step here. It's also very, very painful because Remember that here the blade it will be uh, accurate and it will be uh, very painful for the enemy. But remember that some of these uh, techniques could be applied when the enemy is wearing a yoro, is wearing a, a Japanese traditional armor. Then from here, these techniques uh, were some of the basic steps in order to understand. This is uh, Yari Gimed. This is a study covering uh, the Yari employed as a weapon to restrain, to lock the enemy on situations that could be in risk the person that we need to defend. Then uh, I hope that you have enjoyed this video and I have offered you very important details of the Japanese and mainly the season tradition. Thank you very much and see you next time. Keep watching our videos, please.